to try and challenge ourselves in this second half to tell you guys an epic tale. This is going to be a play that we are going to improvise for you from beginning, middle, and hopefully there will be an end. <laughs> All we need for this is the title, which you guys are going to come up with, and then we're just going to start from that. So, can I get you to shout out the names of some stories? It could be absolutely anything. How was your name? Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, stories that haven't been done before. <laughs> <laughs> stories that haven't been done was that? I'm sorry it just happened. I'm sorry it just happened? The milkman. Was that? The milkman. The milkman. The milkman. The milk. Oh, the milkman or the milkman? Man. Man. Oh, very clear. <laughs> this is the story, ladies and gentlemen, of the milkman. Can we get a big round of applause for some of us? Hello, David. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Marmot, you startled me. I've just uh, delivered you your three pints. Semi skimmed. As always, madam. Very nice. Who's that at the door, Jellis? Just here, I've hit the milk, man. Oh, how is it? How are you? <laughs> Alright, you know, early start, as always, you know, milkman. Alright, you know, as always, early start, as milkman. Alright, that little Peter, how oh. are you doing? Oh! I'm doing fine! <laughs> Alright. Peter? Oh. I said go and play PlayStation, didn't I? Oh, I wanted to go outside and be a healthy child. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a back garden for that, Peter. Oh! But someone dug it up with their toys, didn't they? Oh, I did do that because I'm a scamp. Don't worry, Peter. I, I did the same thing when I was your age. Uh -huh. What kind of toys you got? You got a digger? Yeah, I use it to dig things up like the back garden. <laughs> oh, did you find anything exciting? Oh, I did. What'd you find? I found a condom. Oh. <laughs> That's a big word for a boy your age. I know, it's got two syllables. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, yeah! Oh, run away, run away! Back in the house, thank you. Mind the milk, son, mind the milk. <laughs> One day I'll go outside. <laughs> Scrapping lad you got there? A condom you found, David. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I've been hurt in the garden. I'm coming, son, I'm coming. I said play PlayStation, don't go in garden. Oh, sorry, Mum. That way I'm halfway upstairs accounting for my newfound hat. <laughs> Condom, David. You told me you left no evidence. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Jemima, you're the one who insisted that way, one. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, David. I don't need any more evidence like that little one in there. Oh, hiya, Jeffrey. Hey, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh. Good to see you looking well, huh? Yeah, I've got your semi skin for you. Uh, as usual. There you go, two lovely jokes. Yeah. I mean, I'll pack. Yeah. <laughs> How's your mother? She's well, she's well. You yeah, know, she, uh, her hips are, you know, still playing up a little yeah. bit, but we got to, to the, uh, the old physio. Brilliant. Tough uh, lady. Different, uh, different generation. That's how mothers work. Yeah. <laughs> Very tough, you know, they could get through the most horrible things, that generation, truly. They were just very uh, down-to-earth, honest people, weren't they? If there was an issue, if there were secrets, they would just tell people they didn't give a fuck. Sorry, excuse my language. That's all right, you know, milkman, you know, part of the trade. Yeah. <laughs> just like you, mate. You're just like her. Good lad. Right. Still got that conference this weekend. Sorry? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the conference? Yeah, as you are, when I was dropping off the milk yesterday, she said you got a big conference down in London. Yeah, going off to London, I am. Look at me, eh? Yeah. Look at me, eh? Two, two days. Months. Yeah, two days. Two, nah. two days without this one. I'll so, make sure to bring your wife some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Keep her fed. <laughs> oh, I <well>, will. <laughs> right, I'm going to be uh, upstairs getting ready, okay? All right. I love you. Love you too. Good lines. <laughs> I don't know why he always called you Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> your name is David. It goes by your last name. I'm sorry, it's so impersonal. It's all right, it's all right, you know. Part of the trade. <laughs> <laughs> no one really remembers the milkman's name. You're playing a risky fucking game. I know, I'm playing a risky fucking game. Stop it, go ahead. <laughs> Too many eyes. <laughs> what? How many eyes? <laughs> two plus two, four. <laughs> Keep it under control. You're away. He's away for the whole weekend then. Aye. You want to come and have a ride on the float? <laughs> <laughs> Can I drink?
jingle the bell. <laughs> you know you can. <laughs> it goes real slow. That flow. <laughs> I like it slow. Oh, I know you do. But it's really good at getting in all the tight nooks and crannies in this village. It's got quite a small width, but <laughs> surprising length. <laughs> I believe could be listening to you. He's upstairs, love. I can't trust him, he's off and out in the garden. And I know we keep hey, it. Hey, well, I know you say your boy. Don't. Don't we've had this conversation. Is he like the digger I got him? Who do you say it was from? Santa. Santa. <laughs> it's fucking July! <laughs> Every time I see him and he runs up next to your knee, I can see my eyes in his eyes. And that's because of those fucking thick glasses he's got. <laughs> I love your glasses. Get sexy. <laughs> he's never gonna know, is he? I'm sorry. We made our choices a long time ago. What if we were wrong? What if we were wrong? <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> that boy needs to grow up in a stable home. Milk is stable. <laughs> it perishes! <laughs> Quite quickly! <laughs> Especially if you leave it out in the open! Can you get some of that extra long life stuff? <laughs> Condensed milk? That is not what you sell and you know it. I know! <laughs> Alright, I'm off to work. I'll see you All later. Right, oh. Goodbye, darling. Alright, little one. Oh! <laughs> My bedroom's so. Small! <laughs> Ow! Right, you coming with then? Oh, Are you not taking Stephen with you? Oh, Peter! My name's Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you using my surname, Mum? <laughs> Peter Stephen is my full name! Your teacher said you were misbehaving at school and to bring the discipline of school into home! So Stephen, your last name, it is until you behave, mister, okay? Alright, well listen, you listen to your mother. Alright, I'm gonna go to work and I'll, I'll see you later. I will listen to my mother. <laughs> She's got... <laughs> she talks sense, that woman. <laughs> You listen to your mother. I will, Stephen. No. <laughs> I call you by your surname. But it's your surname. I know. <laughs> you just call me Mum. Darling, can I borrow you just for a second with the car? Wait, just two seconds, can I borrow you with the, in with the car? With the car? No, just something for you, the car. You've got the car. I know, I've got the car. <laughs> I just, yeah, just, I just want to... Mum, you should stop being so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter, don't... Would you hurry up? Oh, right. Stay there. Sorry. Chat to nice, Mr. I will do, David. <laughs> hello, hello, David. Hey, Peter. I wanted to play in the garden and they won't let me. I know. <laughs> they say I've got to play a PS5 and I don't want to. No kid will choose the PS5 over the fun and rambunctiousness of running around the village. <laughs> You like running around the village, do you? Oh, I do. I wish I could run ever so slightly faster, but not much faster. And that I could carry a series of dairy products whilst I did it. <laughs> Sometimes I get six to twelve baby bells and I put them in a sack on my back and I run around, but then Mum says no. Peter, get back inside. Peter, that's one hell of a dream you've got there, kid. <laughs> you've got the makings of a real milkman in you. Oh, I could never. That's a family trade. <laughs> and my dad is an unspecified business <laughs> That's what I'll do when I grow up. I'll have a briefcase in a car and a series of conferences in various cities. <laughs> well, you know, Still got a long time to grow up. Maybe up oh, this weekend you could come for a ride in the in the float with me. Oh well, I'm going off to boarding school. What? <laughs> Aye. Boarding school. Aye, I won't be around here any longer. I suppose I won't see as much of you anymore. Guess not. Oh. Peter, there's something I want you to have. Okay, bye. No, 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 no. Oh, something sorry. I want you to have. Oh, I thought you were. What did you say? What do you thought I said? I got ADHD. <laughs> PS5, you know. <laughs> oh. It's here. 
I'm a god of war! Sorry. <laughs> this year, that's Jersey gold, that is. That is the best milk that England can produce. It's for you. Me? I want you to hold on to that <laughs> through all your years at boarding school. Should I hope? No, no. You keep that sealed. You keep that. Whenever you think about it, you remember your old pal, the milkman. Feels like quite a lot to... <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I look... I like seeing you every day, Peter. Well, I like seeing you too. Don't, hey. be, don't be smart with me. <laughs> I'm never smart. Sorry, my briefcase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, good to have you. Remind me of your name again? Uh, oh, I'm. Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, Stephen, right? Stephen, <laughs> Mr. Stephen. Uh, yeah. Good to have you down here in London, the big old smoke. Yeah, great. How are you, lads? You all right? Uh, listen to him. Refreshing. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like something out of Game of Thrones. <laughs> good show, that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Winter is coming! <laughs> no, but it's, it's really good to connect with all the business around the country! <laughs> you know? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, I'm just taking notes, <laughs> sir. Right, uh, so, yeah, I, I've got a room. Uh, apparently you booked me a room in the... Holiday Inn! <laughs> oh, right. So oh, I, didn't... I thought all the company was, was staying in a... I, I, I was asked to do yours on booking.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine, that's fine. That's totally fine. No problem! No problem at all. I'm just a, just a man with a job and a briefcase. You're not just a man. You're a junior associate and representative up north. That's wonderful. That's great. <laughs> so the, the meeting for senior associates is just about to begin. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> you have a good meeting, sir. Yeah, really. I'll see you in the next couple of days. Firm handshake! Yeah. But it's important. You need to get one. <laughs> <laughs>
I order it. And then they go to the next, uh, and they go to the left, and they go, who's your dad? <laughs> Where are you going with this, Mum? Well, I'm just saying, it goes back. They went all the way back in time. They stayed, they moved into kind of a, a recreational thing. How far back did they go? At the beginning of time. <laughs> Turns out, we've all got the same dad. I do know. <laughs> I don't need to be on that show. I know who my dad is. Who is your dad? Him. Hey. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Yeah, he was a good, good man. Do you think I'd be a good dad, Mum? You? Yeah. Let me have a look. Mum, you're hip. <laughs> <laughs> I know that if you had a son, yeah. just like me, yeah. Oh, just like you. I have a son. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if I have a son who is just like you, I'd be deeply concerned. <laughs> I have a son. Your dad. You're no, I'm your son. That was your husband. <laughs> Rob, you're getting confused. I'm your son. That's dad. He's dead. Yeah. You're, I'm saying, do you think I'd be a good father, Mum? I'm saying. <laughs> Just like you, uh, you, yes, you'd be fucking good. <laughs> Personal combat <laughs> tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that. Silence! <laughs> we don't allow joy at boarding school. <laughs> Not you here, aren't you, boy? Don't look at her. Don't. <laughs> Stephen, isn't it? Peter Stephen. Who knows at this point? <laughs> I do, for I have the register here. Oh, good. Can I have a look? <laughs> Peter Stephen. That really helps. Thank you. <laughs> Just do whatever she says. Oh, okay. okay. Can hold on to my bottle of milk. Don't hold on. <laughs> what, what is that? Nothing. Nothing. What is that? Nothing at all, school ma'am. <laughs> Do I smell lactose? <laughs> no, because it's, it's perfectly sealed. There's no way you could smell it. That would suggest a broken seal. And as I know, a broken seal means your milk goes teal. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Talking's all I've got. I'm not that good. sounded an awful lot like a rhyme, Peter. And do you know what rhymes bring? Prime. <laughs> fine. That doesn't rhyme. A fine. That doesn't rhyme, though. Remember what happened to Toby? You put him in the room. I put him in the room. Have you seen Toby? No. <laughs> the flap so you can hear how Toby's doing in the room. <laughs> he's got so terrified that his voice broke. <laughs> that was the screaming of an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> Even though it sounded like a 45-year-old plumber from Essex. <laughs> you want to hear more, boy? No, 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 please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't speak all time again. What about you, Peter Stephen? Milk boy. <laughs> Why do you have a pint of milk with you? <laughs> what, what sort of a weird, gangly freak are you? Oh, well, it's because I've... Uh, my, my mum always said I had too much... No, it's the milk! I was going to explain. Go on. My mum always said I'm gangly because I've had the right amount of calcium in my diet. And I was like, oh... That must be down to Milkman, so then I made friends with the Milkman and he, he gave and me some jersey. I was almost there, but he didn't <laughs> No, no. The Milkman gave me some Jersey Gold, which is the, the best milk that England can produce. And here it is, and I've been looking after it. A few weeks. Oh, 
shit, she's singing. Oh. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> it means she's going to put somebody in the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, she looks peaceful. Whenever she starts singing, it means she's going to put oh, somebody no. in the room. I think There's so. no space in this fucking room. <laughs> no else, please. Jersey gold. Mm. White oil. <laughs> yes. Creamy gold. I think this is starting to get problematic. <laughs> Aye, it's problematic. Peter. Aye. Peter, perhaps you would do better with some one on one tutelage. Maybe yes. you and your milk could come and visit me. <laughs> <laughs> boarding schools for me. <laughs> Welcome to the Holiday Inn. Oh, you're right. All right there. Of course. Yeah. You look like some sort of businessman. Oh, yeah, I'm just a, just a businessman with a, with a briefcase. Mm, you're not far around here, are you? <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, um... It's like in the Wild West, this. Isn't yeah, it's like where I'm from, you know. Uh, we always slide things, you know. We slide things back, you know. We slide drinks back. We've we actually talked about not aggressively sliding pints to the customers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Gareth. I'm sorry. You know, sometimes it's hard to get the text and you know stay down with me. You know what I'm saying? Now. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> so, uh. You just in town on business? Yeah, yeah, just doing some business, uh, and then I'll be going back actually tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, 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 so uh, T Monday. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> Monday <laughs> this time. <laughs> you got, uh, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. <laughs> you got a family back where you're we from, see? This, what? You got a family back where you're from? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's nice, you keep hold of that family. No, I do. You never know what could happen. <laughs> What do you mean? How do you think I ended up here? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Something happened to your family. Who's that for? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate that guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, a while back in Austin, I had myself, you know, uh, right in a nice setup. I had the prettiest wife and two little kids running around. It was absolutely delightful. What were their names? <laughs> Penelope was my wife. Then we had Thaddeus. What? Thaddeus. <laughs> that Thaddeus? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Thaddeus, yeah. A little Betsy Sue. <laughs> Lovely names. Yeah. Turns out, though, uh, Betsy Sue was mine. Of course. Yeah. That's, that's awful. I was, uh... A businessman before I became a bartender. With a briefcase? With a briefcase. I didn't really know what I did. <laughs> Just turned up at various cities and people would mock my accent, but you know, put bread on the table and bacon in the belly. Yeah, I know it too well, mate. I know it too well. Turns out, though, uh, I got my wife this. I'm gonna sit down. I know what you said. I got my wife like, this. Like, fuck, you're not. Oh, <laughs> Someone for a Christmas print. Oh, yeah. An Amazon Prime subscription. <laughs> she wasn't happy as a, as a cat in the cornfield chasing dumb eyes. I bet. Uh, 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 I bet. Ordering things. <laughs> ordering things day in, day out. That great van would arrive and give my wife package after package. We even got friendly with our delivery driver, Keith. <clears throat> <laughs> Turns out Keith was delivering more than essential household goods. <laughs> That's rough. That's really rough. It's actually funny you say that, actually. Is that we got a milkman who, uh, who comes <laughs> over. Obviously nothing's happening there, but... You sure about that? I'm sure. Uh, you know, I've known him for a long time. We're actually, uh, uh, we, used to, we used to work together. Long time like, ago. this is your third warning. <laughs> <laughs> we have talked about sharing disturbing details of your failed personal life and causing customers to run off before they've had their full stay at the Holiday Inn. I'm sorry, Garrett, it won't happen again. I am watching you. You still going bowling on Friday? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Out of interest, um, 
Not that I, it's obviously fine. Oh, how did you find, how did you find out? It was in the eyes of Betsy Sue. They were my eyes. <laughs> Sorry. They were the eyes of the Amazon delivery driver. <laughs> I look deep into those you eyes. You are dangerously close to my seat! <laughs> Back behind the bar! <laughs> you mean you looked into your son's eyes? Dollars are Betsy Sue! I'm getting confused. It's remarkably similar to my own. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind, then I'll just leave. No, no, no! Mind. No, I. I'm just at your brother. Why would you just leave in the middle of a shift? <laughs> Total lack of work ethic here. I'm sorry, I've only been a barman for like two days. I used to be a businessman with a briefcase. I don't know the rules. I've heard your failed personal life before. <laughs> it's not appropriate for the workplace. I would have found out about Betsy Sue two days ago. I'm Look, sorry, deal with this in your own time, all right? This is, uh, this is my son. This is him. This is my wife. Check the eyes. <laughs> oh, come on, Check stop. Check the eyes. Stop it now. None of that. Check None the eyes. <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll call her now. I'll call her now. <coughs> Hello, how you doing? Oh, it's me, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm grand, how are you? Yeah, grand. Good, how's the conference? Yeah, it's going good. I met this lovely man. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Nothing at all, I'm not naked. <coughs> <laughs> You're not naked. <laughs> no, no I, as in like, you know, or, you know, if you're ringing up because you want me to talk dirty over the phone, now's not appropriate. I've got my hands full. You've got your hands full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What was that? Uh, I think that was your end, actually. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on a minute. Uh, <clears throat> right, some sound of some uh, some milk bottles. Do you have some milk? Oh yeah, I think that's just um, some late night milk. Uh, not late night milk. I just just uh, fancy the glass late night. That's all. You know, like I'm as I'm wont to do of an occasion. Sometimes late night glass of milk doesn't do any harm, does it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, shut up! Fucking shut up! What are you doing? <laughs> I said I will finish you in a minute. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, I left the telly on. Sorry. What are you watching? Uh, who's your dad? <laughs> uh, so don't come out tomorrow. Bet the time tomorrow. Tomorrow. Run, my friend. Right away! <laughs> Our close one. I'm yeah. sorry, I just felt so good. What are you doing? What are you doing with that cream? <laughs> oh, why'd you send? Oh, uh, oh I'm, 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 get it. Obviously, get the closet. <laughs> Mum, Mum, they were doing like a, a Matilda, Mrs. Trunchbull kind of situation. <laughs> and there's like this cupboard, they put, I abandoned all of them. Mum, there's a lot of child abuse happening at that school. What? I think we, there's a lot of child abuse happening at the school, Mum. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Thanks, Mum. Did you run here all the way? Well, no, I... I On your knees? I got... <laughs> You mean I'm allowed to stand up now, Mum? Yes, Peter. Oh, wow, thank you for that. <laughs> you know they call me gangly over there, Mum. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. For being told a good thing. Yeah, of course it is. Is Dad home? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Dad, I, I thought you were doing a business. He is, he no, is. No, Peter, I came back because I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry I sent you to boarding school and I that think you're, I think you're the specialist little boy in the entire world. That doesn't sound like we a... Haven't, we haven't discussed this! That sounds like a milkman in a cupboard. Who's your dad? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, 
Barbara actually put, put some clothes on. <laughs> that reminds me, I brought the jersey gold back. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why is he here, Mom? Why is he here? Why was he naked? I've been here many times before. No, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Peter, your mum's not happy. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> no, it's not you, Peter. She's very happy with you. It's just that. Your mum needs some excitement in her life. We were going to go go-karting. <laughs> You want to go go karting now, Mum? I always want. I always want to go go karting. I thought you didn't want to go out because you made me play PS Five, and it's like you didn't want to see me like I was a shameful secret. Peter, I'm not... so sorry you're ashamed of me, Mum. No, I'm not. I'm not ashamed of you. I'm sorry I'm so tall. No, Peter. I know it's not in my family genes. But... <laughs> I didn't mean to be born wrong with this. This. This weird dark hair, unlike a blonde or bald knit of your hair. Peter. Yes, Mr. Milkman. Look at me. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to look below, it's no, still no, partial. Yeah, I know, yeah. But there's a bulge. Oh, there's a bulge. Uh, that bulge is important. No. <laughs> this is what I've got overhead mystery. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. You're going to tell him? Because if you don't tell them, I'm going to tell them because my heart can't take this anymore. I'd be a great dad. I'd let you play in the garden every day. I think he just told me. <laughs> You're my dad. <laughs> Are you watching TV? Is it live and kicking? <laughs> no, it's not live and kicking. That show's been off the air for 20 years. <laughs> oh, shit. It's now or never. If you want me to leave and never come back, I will. I'll go find a different village. I'll become a bartender with a Texan accent. <laughs> and you know I could be a better dad than him. I'd never leave for a conference. I'd be here every day with milk and I know, I know, I know. Let me talk to him. He deserves to hear it from me. Back in the cupboard. Please. Okay, off we go. <laughs> Not me. I don't want to be present for this. <laughs> go to your room. Play PS5. Oh. Darling, it's me. It's me, darling. Oh, play, play in the garden? Whatever you want, darling. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> I love you. And I'm not ashamed of you. I love you too. And some of your question some of your choices have been questionable, but I'm not ashamed of you either. Oh. I mean it, there's one door, so <laughs> you have to go past. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Well, oh, thanks for coming back, honestly. Off you, off you go. They're all, uh, they're all pretty. <laughs> why, why is he standing up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing to be ashamed of. What do you mean he's got nothing to be ashamed of? I'm the only one who has anything to be ashamed of when he doesn't take clothes off yet. <laughs> I've been lying to you. What do you mean you've been lying to me? <sighs> He's not your son. He's David's son. I know. <laughs> you know? When I was out there, the bar guy told me. <laughs> <laughs> the bar guy told me to. How did he know? Who's this bar guy? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's an awful last home you got here. <laughs> 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 what I, I looked into my son's eyes in the picture, and the two of us, we stared at it for ages and ages. We and did, ages. we bound it, we bound it, did <laughs> I think I know what you've been up to, Missy. <laughs> I know the truth. I'm sorry. I know you should be. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, man. It's okay. Man. I remember how I felt. I feel like in a way you've always known. Yeah, kind of felt like that. You never even kiss me on the lips anymore. It's only ever on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kiss your wife on the lips, man. <laughs> I just. Oh, God, I... What? 